simple or they are more variable or rather complicated. They are complicated creatures somehow. Það er, þetta eru dýr sem eru með hugsjónir og, og maður ma verður að fara svolítið eftir því ja, og bara semja við þau. I think personally for me a horse needs to have a real strong character, a good gates and, and be moody. Like, he leaves you alone when you want to but always comes to you and is your friend. Everything that Scandal has. <laughs> I have a horse today, that's my favorite horse, and his name is Scandal, that means Scandal. Um, we have not always been quite friends. Ah, he was always throwing me off and running with me and stuff. Hey. Um, and just things started to work. And today I can do everything I want with him. I, he's like one of my greatest. Give me a question. Yeah, her interest is with horses. Uh, but uh, maybe it's, it's the danger to, when you have a kid uh, who is interested to horses. Don't press too much on them because I think, in a way, I lost my boys from the horses because I was putting too much pressure on them. Working and doing that way or the other way, it has to be more fun. <laughs> The other day, out in the field, me and my father were talking about horses, and he was asking me about of if this horse would be this or no, is it Alta? Are you asking me, uh, do Icelanders slaughter their horses? If that is your question, then the answer would be yes. As mean as it sounds, uh, it is necessary for anyone that is in breeding business, whether they're sheep or whatever it is. And if we would not do this, and we would follow this very romantic idea of just, you know, just letting it graze here somewhere, uh, very quickly we would not have enough land, we would not be able to feed them all, and they would starve to death. We try to maintain a few horses, not too many, that we can actually take care of in a good manner, in a good way. The first time I remember that I was riding when I was four because I fall off and I f and I was very ashamed about that. So I was riding quite a lot as a child, but more or less for doing something, not not for fun, for for herding sheep or herding horses. We use them also all the time and. Of course I like it, uh, but it's, of course, mostly a work.
I did chew a lot earlier when I was stronger in my body. Then I could chew up to 20 horses per day. Today I try to get the quality better and better work. And I don't have body to chew more than four or five horses per day. Because of my back, I'm getting tired. <laughs> My father has always been riding with me, and he has he has got me into this. I'm getting too old. I cannot do it without her. I hope she's not getting older, so she is flying away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just don't feel like I want to only breed horses in the future. I want to have some other job and more just to ride horses in my spare time. It's not that I don't love horses enough. It's just that I, there are other things I'd like to do. Just work with horses. And it's not their passion anymore. I would be a liar if I say, I always, I'm pleased with all my horses and all my, all, everything. Uh, but I'm not sad because of my way of life. I, I love it. It's difficult to explain it. It's some kind of a satisfaction in my life because riding on good horse in good weather, especially in the summer night, when it's bright all, all, all night, uh, you can hear the birds. And when it's getting darker for one or two hours, they stop and they fell asleep. And when they start again, because the sun is coming up, that is the moment. I've never had an ice cream or anything what is so good. <laughs> Purchase Heard in Iceland, please visit HerdinIceland.com. Funding for this program made possible by Iceland Air, Let Lakey Icelandics, and Toltac. A full list of contributors is available by contacting the producer.
Saturday on Arab Labor. Could Amjad's zeal for education <laughs> turn his daughter into a zealot? <laughs> then Amjad's friend Mayor hails an Arab taxi and soon finds himself lost in translation. Catch back-to-back -back episodes of Arab Labor, now Saturdays at 10 on KCET. This week on Warriors and Company, we need a movement of truth tellers. You get out in the streets and you make it. A grassroots movement. It's not the politics of fear, but the politics of hope. And it's going to take people. We are going to build the kind of democracy that we deserve. Occupy democracy with Warriors and Company. Sundays at 5.30 on KCET. It's a California missions marathon. We've been on this quest to visit all 21 missions. Sunday from 7 to midnight, Hugh embarks on an epic journey. It is a fascinating and wonderful trip. From San Diego to Sonoma. This has withstood the test of time. Hugh takes in the beauty and the history. This is all original. Of all 21 California missions. Well, I can't get enough of this. Join Hugh for a California missions marathon. Sunday from 7 to midnight on KCET. Join KCET as we celebrate Hispanic heritage with a month of special programming. To see the full schedule, cet.org slash Hispanic Heritage. Passionate about the movies? You bet.